So in SketchUp 2025, SketchUp solved one of the most annoying problems you had to deal with when you had multiple scenes in your models and you had to make changes. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. So if you've ever dealt with something like this where you've gone through and you've created a pretty detailed model with a whole bunch of different scenes and things like that, and then you had to go in and make a change that involved adding a new tag or new geometry on a new tag, you know how frustrating that could be. And so real quick, this is one of the example models that's available to annual members of my course. So as a part of my course, you also get access if you're an annual member to my example model library. So that's going to be complete projects that are ready to go that you can download and use as an example. You can reverse engineer them. You can see how you can create plans with them and other things like that. All of this is available for download for annual members. So if you do want to download these uh, models, and I'm going to be adding more in the future and follow along, you can do that at the sketchupessentials.com slash course. So let's say, for example, that we were to take this model right here and I want to add a line work layer. So I'm just going to take a section cut through the building. And so I've got this section plane in here and you can see how it's taking a cut across the building. But I don't necessarily want to take this whole thing over to layout and render it in hybrid or something like that or in vector because it might have slow performance. So a lot of the time what I'll do is I'll take a section plane like this one, right click and do a create group from slice. And so when I do a create group from slice, what that's going to do is that's going to create a slice of geometry right here that I can use and send over into layout when I put things in a plan view, right? So I can go to parallel projection right here. And I've basically got this line work in here in a way that I can easily vector render that over in layout. But the problem is now I've got this new geometry in here and I'm going to put it on a new tag. And that tag is going to be C-O-N-C dash line work, right? So now I've got this line work in here and I'm ready to work with it. But the problem is it's now on in every single one of my scenes because SketchUp doesn't know what to do with it. Now, I kind of wish that the way SketchUp was set up is once you have scenes created, if you add a new tag, it defaults to having that tag off in all of your updated scenes. But you can see how that's not really the case here. It kind of like shows up in everything. Well, the cool thing is in SketchUp version 2025, what they did is they added the ability to apply a tag to multiple different scenes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this line work tag. I'm going to turn it off and I need to make sure that I put my line work in the tag right here. And that's great for scene one, which I didn't save this in, but that's great for scene one because you can toggle that off, but I don't want to have to go through and toggle that off for every one of these scenes. Well, the cool thing is we now have the ability to toggle a tag on and off across multiple scenes. And so the way that we're going to do that is first off, we want to go into our scenes manager right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a shift click in order to select every single scene in my model, right? So I've got all of these different scenes selected. And just remember that every one of these, if I click on them, so like um, say that I have this isolation cut right here, every single one of them has this line work layer toggled on. Well, if I select all of those scenes like this, so I did a shift click to select them all. If I go down into my line work and I toggle that line work off and then I right click, what I can do is I can click on the option for apply tags to scenes. And so that's going to apply the change to this tag across every single scene that I have selected. Notice how it takes a minute to do that. But now if I go to all of these different scenes, that line work tag that I created is toggled off. So you can use this in order to toggle a tag off across all of your scenes in your model. Or alternatively, if you did want this turned on in just a couple scenes, so say I had like my working view right here, uh, one of my ISO cuts right here, um, and maybe my elevation, what I can do is I can just do a control click to select those. And then I can toggle this back on just in those well, now if I do an apply tags to scenes, it would apply that tag to those three scenes that I had selected. So now if we go look at our ISO cut for, I think it was the ISO cut for black and white is what I picked right here. Notice how it's toggled on in that scene, but not in any of the other scenes. So you can be selective in how you do this. And then if I just wanted to turn them off across all my scenes again, I could just right click, do an apply tags to scenes, and it would apply that across all of the different scenes. 
So up to version 2025, you had to go through and manually update your scenes. So this is a massive change and I'm very excited to see it working. If you do wanna learn more about how to use SketchUp, make sure you check out my course. You can also get this example model um, from my example models library if you're an annual member of the course. But if you have any questions about anything we talked about today, feel free to leave them down below. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.